What's up guys, David Land here and welcome to Talladega Super Speedway for the second plate race of my NASCAR 15 Let's Play. And first of all, I'd like to apologize for uh, not doing a race for about a week. Um, I pour my heart and my soul into these YouTube videos and sometimes my heart and my soul is not in it. So I apologize for the delay, but this week is going to be a very jam-packed week on YouTube for me, I would imagine so. Uh, there are at least, hopefully, three videos coming this week. Uh, if I find the last two NASCAR Authentics I need for the third wave, you will get that review on Friday. If not, you'll get another review. Hopefully, not in addition to this race, you'll be getting another race on Thursday for NASCAR 15 and possibly even a fourth special video. So a jam-packed week of free content. Hopefully, it'll make it up to you guys, and hopefully this race will be awesome. The cards uh, have been popping up on the top of the screen if you want to catch up on the whole NASCAR 15 Let's Play and not get spoiled about the last race in Kansas. I would click those, but let's talk spoilers in terms of the chase. The leaders uh, from uh, Kansas are the leaders coming into Talladega. Kevin Harvick leads with 180 points over Carl Edwards, 169. Those guys are in the best shape so far in the chase. Second page is uh, Truex in fourth with 154 points. He's been strong all season. And Jeff Gordon, the guy who in real life locked himself into the chase, uh, he is continuing to lock himself into my chase with 145 in fifth place. We move on to the third and final page. The field is beginning to whittle down. It's gonna be even more whittled after this. Tony Stewart with 134 and Kyle Busch, he's out of there, 118. He just didn't have enough points. Uh, just a couple lousy finishes kept him out of continuing in the chase. So we've got six cars left in the chase. We've got, uh, let's see, uh, just a few more rounds to go. I'm bad at math and I forgot which chase race this is. But uh, <laughs> hopefully we won't have a quite as controversial and eventful of a race as real life. Uh, but uh, in this Let's Play, you can never guarantee anything. So this is David Land on YouTube. Qualifying highlights are next. All right, here we are, group qualifying. I'm 21st right now. Uh, I don't have a crew chief for today uh, because two people oh, sent money, me setups which I couldn't view. Uh, one person uh, sent one to me on Facebook and it was some file that my computer couldn't open. I don't know if he thought I had the PC uh, version of this game or what, but uh, I was unable to open it. Uh, and somebody sent it to me on Instagram. But uh, folks, if you have a lockdown account, uh, I can't view your photos when you send them to me. So, like, make your account public or, you know, like, I don't know, send your photos to me a different way because I'm unable to do that. Uh, but right now, 23rd, so I'm not in right now. I'm going to get a draft behind Yaley. This is rear. it, though. This is it. Car two back. I'm two tenths off, so I need to pick up the pace here. Let's see if we can't go with Yaley here. Pick up some major speed coming down the back straightaway. Bump drafting is not being too effective right now. And I just ran him up the road. I'll get him behind Earnhardt and see if we can't get in. It looks like we're going to be 25th at least. Unless these guys uh, who are tandeming somehow are going to be able to do better. Let's see. Yeah, we were unable to advance. Clint Boyer is going to start on the front row alongside chaser Jeff Gordon. He is the highest chaser in the field. Uh, Carl Edwards is the next highest, and then Martin Truex. Uh, as we continue down through the rest of the field, uh, find where your favorite driver is, who missed the race, all that fun stuff. Uh, I qualified 28th next to Jimmy Johnson as we go down through the rest of the field. Do not tell me that the 78 didn't show up again. I don't think the 78's here. Unless I missed it. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Okay, I think all the chasers are in the race, but I may be mistaken. Is anybody, did anybody not show up? I don't know. All right, Talladega, the second plate race. Let's see how much I've improved from the first plate race that was also the first Let's Play uh, Daytona. So it's Talladega, it's probably going to be uh, Brian Francerific. Let's go! All right, here we are, Talladega, the wild card of the chase, the wild card 
pretty much in general of NASCAR. Always some sort of strange happening at this track. Go, I expect buddy. this Coming to be no different. The green flag is about to come out, and let's airport, see on, let's what is going to happen at Talladega. Not a very good start for me. Grab the car a little bit too high. Kenseth is mistaken me for Logano. Looks like he's going to draft with you. Who's going to draft with me? There's a hundred cards in this side. draft here. We'll tuck in behind my buddy Carl. Look at Carl. Kyle Larson. Can you tell I've been away for a week? Alright. Let's go, Almondinger. Hold right there, buddy, if you want to draft. Not particularly sure how that little tap gave me so much damage on the back. But okay. Big pack on your already forming. He's coming high. He's coming on the outside. Come on, let's go, AJ. Well, we don't want to be doing that. Hey, remember Daytona when I couldn't hold my line? One up top. I was hoping I'd improve past that Three point. Wide. Three wide. You're in the middle. All right, let's go to the front. Or at least just not get in a wreck. Car inside. Casey Kane. All right, let's, yeah. You. Yeah, that was close. You're up high. Car in line with you. That was too close. Come on, David Reagan, let's go. There you go. Let's go. Keep it steady. Car right behind you. Oh, I don't want to do that. Is that a spin? No, it wasn't, thank goodness. Okay, behind I don't know how it wasn't. I got into Reagan pretty, pretty, or Gilliland. I got into Reagan, then Gilliland. Can't block the 66 of Waltrip. For some reason, he braked. On your bumper. Get down to the low side. We gotta go to work. Reagan falling off the pace a bit. Maybe I can pick him up there. I'll just let the 66 come back to me. Tuck in behind Reagan. Being a front row motorsports sandwich there. Car in line with crack you. the throttle just a bit, just to not pile. I guess I did it anyway. Clear up top. That's strange. Find Wit. We gonna pass Wit or we gonna we'll bump draft drafted. Car inside at your door. He did not like that. One on the bottom. Former teammates helping each other out there to the bottom. Harvick and Menard. Clear. Come on, get to the bottom. Just looking. Keep it low. Keep it low. Looking high. Boy, we were not able to stay with the pack very long. The leader is four seconds in front. Get behind Gilliland here, try to get some draft. He's coming high. Ooh, that was close. Clear we had to block high. Almondinger there. On your bumper. Come on, Whit, let's go. We're tucked in behind you. Hundred and ninety-eight, so we we're uh, definitely going at a big click here. Lift off just a bit. Hopefully I didn't lift off too much. Come on. The problem is you can't... The bumpers don't line up. So, yeah. Point to Brian France there. I missed the bumpers lining up. Uh, we're kind of just behind the second group here. We're definitely not in the lead pack, as you can very clearly tell. Okay, let's go. We gotta step it up. The other problem is I'm pushing wit so hard that I'm overheating just a bit. We ran into that problem at Kansas. There's five second gap between you and the leader. Clear right. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us, even though I don't think we're quite as well positioned as we were at Kansas in terms of how our car is performing and how the driver, frankly, is performing. Well, working with Wit, this isn't the worst thing in the world because at least we're working well with him. Uh, we've we've pretty much gapped the people who the have fallen off the draft, so at least 
we're not going to lose too, too much time working together. So, uh, I mean, again, these, these early laps don't matter all that much, and hopefully we'll get a yellow, hopefully not caused by me, fingers crossed, um, that will aid us in getting back to the front. Oh, starting to fall off with a bit. No, 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 don't let this happen. I think we've got a problem, buddy. The motor looks like it's down on power. Oh, that's what it is. Hashtag whiny spotter. He's, he's returned. Whiny spotter has returned. Gotta get more aggressive, man. Pass the slower car in front. Well, I can't now. You were just whining at me that uh, my engine's blown nice. up. Nice, nice. He's sending, but my spotter is sending me Mixed signals. Why are you so whiny, Spotter? The motor's got a problem. Just race the best you can, buddy. Uh, First is in front by eight seconds. Okay, the tape is coming off the grill, and I'm going to be really aggressive about it uh, when we have to pit, which will be a while from now. We're just logging laps right now, but hopefully at some point when I'm able to come in the pits, I'll be able to take the tape off the grill. We'll be able to not have whiny spotter problems. All right, letting Wit back around. My engine actually cooled down a little bit from coming to the front of the, his uh, little pack there. Hopefully oh, that'll help. Uh, my controller is vibrating, so I'm getting a good draft. Let's go. Let's do it. Cole Wit's being my buddy right now, which is great. Still controller vibrating, so we are just having one whale of a draft right now. The game likes it. The game likes what I'm doing, apparently. And that second pack busted up just a bit. For whatever reason. And now Wit is going to catch Menard, and that may hurt me just a bit, unless he passes Menard, in which case, that'll he help me. He's holding us up. Whoa! Paul Hard Menard heading to the pit. just about took out Cole Wynn. I'm not really sure why. You're good low. Well, you're right side. I hope it's not Cole that's coming into the pits. If he is, it's really going to hurt me here. Watch your fuel. You ready Today you can't see buddy? anybody like waving out the window like they do in real life. He'll bump draft with you, but you got to go easy. Well, For your left. Now I've hurt my car. Nice and easy. Just keep doing exactly what, what doing. I feared was going to happen happened. Okay, this lap coming this time. So I will have to definitely come into pits now. Um, and I probably should have. You know what? Oh man, I should have. Come, I should have come into pits with Cole Witt. I, I forgot how to restrict your plate race. This is not good. All right, first stop of the day. And the car glitched out there for a second. I wondered where it came from. The Clint Boyer just killed my pit crew. This is fun. Come on, boys. Let's get back to it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be without a drafting partner, aren't I? I just purposely slowed down so that Michael Waltrip can catch and pass me. So that I can get in behind Michael Waltrip and draft with him, hopefully. Hopefully. I may have slowed down too much. Come on, get back to him. Oh, that would be so stupid if I just gave up a position and now I can't pass him back. No, I'm at 190, right, so I'm, I'm drafting. Right come on, come on, come on. All right, let's start just making, uh, trying to get back up to those cars that are just running around by themselves. Hopefully we can make up better ground as Michael McDowell takes the lead. He's one of the few guys who hasn't won a race this year. Very even distribution of the wins this year. Even Michael Annette has one, except for me and Michael McDowell. Those are the two people who don't have wins this year. Yay, mediocrity. I can't tell if the beer cans have started flying yet. Uh, I know the fans at Talladega and the fans at home are expecting a pack race. They're not getting a pack race. Uh oh, beer can storm incoming. Come on, I can't even push him in the tri oval and he just starts to freak out. Okay, 20 to go. All right, we're finally starting to catch Menard here. 
Hopefully, Waltrip doesn't catch his draft and then just immediately oh, fly away right. from me. Of course, I can't push him in the trioval, like I just said, so wait till we get out of the trioval and then push, 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 and then we lift off on the entrance of the corner. Try to stay behind him. Try to get back behind him, and then we're going to push, push, push again so that Menard cannot catch us. Michael Waltrip, of course, one of the best plate racers in NASCAR, so at least he is, uh, his experience is helping me a little bit. Thank you, Spotter. I appreciate it. I also took the tape off the grill so you won't become so whiny. Well, we're going to set a really fast lap, and we just did. Wow, Michael. Careful there, buddy. He's coming into the pits. Already? I hope not. I'll let him go if that's what he wants to do. It's a little bit too early, Michael. You're an awesome job Are you today, kidding buddy. me? We're on the inside. Well, that just completely ruined my race. Thanks, Michael. Uh, I should have come in with him just to keep the drafting, but I don't know, man. This is... I I'm not going to lose a lap. I I'm not interested in losing a lap. I think the lap is worse on, to lose than the, uh, to to work. than the track position at this point from not having a drafting partner. Not the best situation here at uh, Talladega. There's not a whole lot I can do about it either unless they wreck. Uh, here comes Michael out of the pits. Maybe I can catch him back up as he exits and maybe we can draft again. Hopefully we can. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to catch him though. He's just uh, come up to speed too fast. Lots of cars in the pits though, so we are going to gain some positions as we uh, head through the tri-oval here. But again, you know, we're way off, and there really isn't even a pack anymore. It's just a bunch of cars running around in tandems. Come on, man. You have to pit this lap. I, I don't have to pit this lap, I don't think. I bet I can make it another lap. So, uh, you know, I'm going to. Nothing you can do about it, whiny spotter. Crew chief's really concerned about your fuel. Crew chief don't know what he's talking about. All right, I want you to pit this time. Pit this lap. Now I'm going to pit. Now I'm going to pit. <laughs> Hopefully I actually make it around. I'm going to look like a big gigantic moron if uh, I've been yelling at my spotter. Yeah, I can make it. I can make it. And then I don't make it. All right, fuel only stop for me. Let's just do it. We're making up time. The tires aren't worn. Let's do it. Just I think we probably made up a lot of, well, a little bit of track position doing that. We'll see what happens when we uh, cycle around here out of the pits. That was almost a uh, Kevin LePage situation. Good lord. Okay, I guess we're just going to get back on the track now. I was a little bit worried about pit lane speeding. I don't know if it's actually going to ding me for it. I hope not. Oh, hi, Casey Kane. Oh, there he goes. Casey Kane's already gone. Alright, come on, Almirola. Let's go. He'll nudge you. Don't push me too much. But we are gaining a ton of time on Kane here. Alright, come on Eric, let's go. Team Ford. Let's do it. Yeah, 197 miles an hour, that'll work. Go underneath Kane. Yeah, 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 this is good. Now he kind of lost me there. Come on, come back to me. Back to me, Eric. Baby, come back. Oh, wow. no, no, let's not do that. All right, now the, the pusher has become the pushy. Been pushing cars the whole race now. He's still on you. Now Marol is helping me out here. Still with you. On you're being a good, well, we're not teammates, but I almost say we're being, he's you. being a good teammate. He's being a good Ford I'm driver by helping, driver helping me out. Nobody. This is very nice. We're catching Ryan Newman too now. Yeah, we 
are flying. This is great. Are in line with you. All right, we'll catch Newman's down. draft here. Get in behind him. Then we'll pull right out. Look at that. Keep it low. Keep it low. The AI actually kind of understands how to draft. It's great. Oops. That was almost a costly mistake. I almost let let Alvaro turn me there. Of course, now Ryan got on the back of this train here. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Maybe he can help us both out. As we're coming up to catch Allgaier and I think with Murray. Nine to go. Nine laps, so this is... Should, we should be able to make it on fuel. Oh, no. Watch your rear. I can't believe I just made it. I just can't believe I just saved that. All clear. Wow, that was close. I was just saying, we, as in our car, should be able to make it on fuel. I don't know about everybody else. So we may uh, pull a biffle here and, and snipe a good finish. Now I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to drag the brake so that Ryan Our Newman comes back. back up here and helps us come back to the front a little bit. Okay, behind you. Because Almirola dumped us. You. Quite literally. You got this. Nice work, man. Eight to go. So Ryan Newman didn't really want to play nice there. He almost didn't anyway. Are in line with you. Come on, Ryan, let's go. Car right behind you. Casey Kane flying too on the outside. Now I don't want to work with him. Hopefully Ryan realizes that. Even though Kane just about made a pass by himself. Car tucked in behind you. Oh wow. Newman almost got turned by Kane. We can do this. Gotta keep focused. Let's get back up there to Almirola, and then Allgaier and McMuffin. McMurray. I intentionally said that. Don't worry, folks. I don't actually call McMurray McMuffin. Though that would be funny remember. if that was his name. Or nickname. Seven to go. Hello, Eric. Remember me? I am the, the reckoning of your face. Your I don't even side. know what I'm saying anymore. All right. Let's get back up there to Allgaier and McMurray. And then it's a huge gap, so it's pretty much going to be fuel mileage in terms of are we going to be able to make up any more positions. Kane's trying to, Kane was trying to push uh, Newman to the uh, clear. past me, but that didn't fly. Car one now they're going to work together again, and hopefully I can just block Ryan there. Well, he's going to come into the pit, so... Uh, Casey, can we put our differences aside and race to glory here? Six to go. Will he draft with me? Will he play nice? Is Casey Kane going to play nice? Okay, this is the most important question ever. Is something good going to happen here between me and Casey Kane? Can we put our differences... Uh, he wants to pass me. He's not interested. Yeah, he's not interested. I gotta have to play him dirty a little bit. Still right behind Block. Because he's not interested in working with me. For whatever reason, and we know the reasons, he's uh, not gonna work with me. But Allgaier's coming into the pits. Uh, we, use, <laughs> we use Allgaier as our little block between us and Kane. Can't go to the inside, and we're moving up to 17th, posi 17th position here. With about six laps to go here, or three laps to go, four laps to go, something like that. It's some distance between one and ten that we have to go. I'm not sure. But if we can start working with McMurray here, we won't have to work with Kane. So uh, I'm liable to work with Jamie as he says that he's coming into the pits. I know what that, 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 uh, Swerving means it means that I'm coming in. There's your next victim right there. So we'll three wide it around Newman, almost Start getting into the wall. Into the McMurray's coming into the pits. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. So uh, uh, now we're Go alone, and Newman and Kane are working together again, which probably isn't the best thing in the world in terms of us. Four to go. We'll have to block them, even though we're at 191 miles an hour. I don't know if we can hold them off. 
We'll see. Three laps to go. We got enough fuel, so uh, our our we are really well placed here. I'm not sure if we can win this thing, but I'm sure as heck uh, sure that we're gonna try to do something well here. As somebody is mowing the lawn and ruining my NASCAR 15 Let's Play. Or a street sweeper. Maybe it's a street sweeper. I don't know. It's weird living in a town. You hear different noises and you never know what they are. We're up to 12th. 12th to position. Go. If we could catch Allgaier and work with Allgaier, I think we're going to make up even more positions. Who is this coming out of the pits? That is Al Marola, I believe. So Eric comes out of the pits. We'll lap him. Two laps to go here. So it's starting to get a little bit, uh, starting to get a little bit uh, worried about this. I'm not sure where where we're gonna turn out here. I'm not sure where we're gonna be positioned. It'd be great if we could get some drafting help here. It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to. Maybe we will. Are we close enough to to uh, McMurray here to to mount a charge and maybe get a draft, sniff a draft? Boyer it. leads it's now. What position are we going to be in here as we come around go. sixth? Sixth place right now? Are we the first car that hasn't pitted? Don't tell me we're going to fuel mileage into a win here. Don't tell me that's going to happen. Inside. I'm starting to think this might happen. We're coming up to the Point white flag. Oh, yeah, Johnson still leads. So we may not fuel mileage into a win here, but we're going to fuel mileage into a pretty darn good position here. We've got a fine on fuel. Stretching it obviously was a great decision, and another great decision was uh, not taking tires. So here we go. How many cars are we going to pass as we come through? <laughs> we're up to second. We're up to second. Uh, we're on path right now to the best finish I've ever had in NASCAR 15 Let's Play. We've gone caution free here at Talladega and 27 seconds up the road is Jimmy Johnson. He's not coming into the pit so obviously he had just a slightly better strategy than we did. Checkered flag. He's gonna win by an absolutely huge margin but and it's a big but because we haven't actually made it yet to the finish line. Okay, honey down. But as we pass Casey Kane in a moan of triumph, I believe we are gonna finish second at Talladega. What? Way to get it done, man. What? Second place! Well, that was the best result I've ever had in a NASCAR 15 race. And it came at Talladega, a plate race. Uh, I don't think that was the most exciting race in the world, uh, but I definitely liked it a lot. Uh, yeah, so uh, second place. Uh, Kyle Busch first to the Chasers in 10th. Continued down through the rest of the field. Edwards second of the Chasers. Gordon third. Truex fourth. And then uh, Harvick was last of the Chasers, but he was the points leader coming in, so I think he's safe. It's going to be between Truex and... Oh, wait, where's Stuart? Where is Stuart? Are you telling me Stuart didn't even show up? Well, there's who missed the... There's who missed... Who got knocked out of the chase. It's Tony Stewart, because he didn't show up. Well, <laughs> spoiler alert, Tony Stewart didn't make the chase, but those other drivers I mentioned will be in contention when we get to Martinsville. Hopefully, that will be this week. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Lane on YouTube. Martinsville is next. I finished second in NASCAR 15 race. What is this world coming to?